Good morning, y'all, and welcome to day 41 of 100 Days to Life-Changing Confidence. This morning's scripture comes to us from John chapter chapter 16, verses 1 through 15. So if y'all are ready, let's get started. And the word says, Jesus continued, I have said these things to you so that you won't lose your faith. You will be thrown out of synagogues. Certainly, the time is coming when people who murder you will think that they are serving God. They will do these things to you because they have not known, they haven't known the Father or me. But I have told you this so that when it happens, you'll remember what I have told you. I didn't tell you this at first because I was with you. Now I'm going to the one who sent me. Yet none of you asks where I'm going. But because I have told you this, you will be filled with sadness. However, I am going, I am telling you the truth. It is good for you that I'm going away. If I don't go away, the helper won't come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. He will come to convict the world of sin, to show the world what has God's approval and convince what convince the world that God judges it. He will convict the world of sin. People don't believe in me. He will show the world what has God's approval. Because I'm going to the Father and you won't see me anymore. He will convince the world that God judges it. Because the ruler of this world has been judged. I have a lot more to tell you. But... The, but that would be too much for you now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into the full truth. He won't speak it on its own, on his own. He will speak what he hears and he will tell you about things to come. He will give me glory because he will tell you what I say. Everything the Father says is also what I say. That is why I said he will he will take what I say and tell it to you. So um let me start out by saying this. Before I made these choices on my own, meaning coming to the Lord when I was ready and prepared and preparing to be baptized when I was ready and prepared. Um, I never took the, I never took the Bible seriously, like I never actually applied it to my life as I'm doing now. Um, so when I read this devotional yesterday, um, I was almost brought to tears because I, I realized that this is not just a story in a book. This actually did happen. Jesus did have to die for us in order to, in order to bring about positive change. Um, and when I think on it now, I don't think 
that I don't think that had I made this decision at the time that I did, which is before now, I don't think that I would have taken it as seriously. I'm not trying to step on any toes here by any means, but I feel that with the maturity of my of my previous decision, I feel that now is the right time for me to have come forward publicly, both privately and publicly on my own. So let's go ahead and 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 see what my notes have to say for for this morning. Number one, God will guide us to the truth in His divine timing. John sixteen thirteen. See, God has already prepared steps for me. He just hasn't told me what they are yet. But I feel that in this season of growth, he's getting ready to tell me what my next steps are in this lifetime. The last thing that I have written down is God will guide us to complete happiness and joy. That comes from John sixteen thirteen. In this next season of life, I feel that God is getting ready to prepare me for a season of complete happiness and joy. Um, I'm just not sure what the time frame is, but only God knows what that time frame is. But let me tell you this, I am fully and completely prepared for whatever happens. That is all the time we have for today's devotional. I will see y'all tomorrow. Have, a, have an extremely blessed morning. And I am extremely thankful for the rain that we had this week. Bye everybody.